Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. Today I'm gonna to be doing my initial impressions, swatches, and this look that I have on of the Dose of Colors Snow Angels palette from Ulta. And I did just talk about it a bit in my Ulta haul, but this is $32 for five shades. Um, you guys are probably like, what? You spent $32 on five shades? So I got this for free because I used my 20% off coupon and then I used my points to get it with. So if you want to see a bit more about how I redeem Ulta points and get great deals, I will link that video right up here so you can check it out. But that's the only way that I would spend that much money on five shades. I I think it's very overpriced. For reference, this certified palette is $32. So they are very beautiful shades. I did want to own it, so I was really hoping that Ulta would get it in before that 20% off coupon expired, and they did, so I picked it right up. For the look today, I am going to be using all five shades so you can see how the shades look and apply, and then I'll talk a little bit about what, um, what I saw so far from them. Let's go ahead and get into swatches, and then we'll do the look. So I'm going to start out. The names are on the bottom of the palette, but they are... Um, so the name of it is like right behind the shadow, so it's opposite the way it looks. So the first one we're going to start with is Cashmere. My little trail tattoo. So a really pretty mauve color there. I don't know if I, if I own a shade like this. I do know that in the, when I filmed this, when I was filming this look, I talked about trying to find some dupes. So I probably am going to try to find dupes for this palette. Um, and then here is the next shade is called Pretty Bold. And this next one is called Very Cold. That one didn't swatch as good, but it it is very pigmented. Um, then the next one is Zero Degrees. And the last one is Thin Ice. I think Zero Degrees may be one of my favorite shades in this palette. So there are the five swatches for the Snow Angels from Dosa Colors. Very pretty colors. This, the two pinker shades are very, very dry to the touch. The other shades are creamier, so I don't know how that has to do with the red pigment that's in them. You will see they all do perform similarly on the eyes. And let's go ahead and get started into this look. Okay, so to start this look off, I'm going to start out with this color here. They do have names. Uh, cashmere. I'm guessing that it's called Cashmere. And we're going to take a fluffy blending brush, and I'm going to put that in... Wow, that is a really nice pigmented color, and it's a good, it's a good transition color. I could use that with a lot of different eye looks, and it's not so neutral. It's got that little, oh my gosh, my earring just fell out. It's got that little mauve hint to it. Ooh, I like that color. And then for... I think for the crease, I'm actually going to go in the, with this middle tone right here, and that is Berry Cold. I'm not used to having palettes with mirrors. Most of my indie brand palettes don't have mirrors. So what I'm going to do here is I think this is going to be our crease, this deeper color. Gosh, that is so pretty too. You know what, I may try to do a dupe palette for this because I am pretty sure I might have these colors already, but I'm still really excited for this palette. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna look around all my other shades and see what comes close. I'm going to lay a little bit of this one down on the outer V um, to help blend together the other colors that I'm going to use with the rest of the look. I'm going to use the deep blue and the hot pink all on the lid. And then the lighter blue is going to go 
on the lower lash line. All right, so now, and I'm gonna do, I'll do some cleaning up once I get the whole look done. Let's see what we need to do to it still. For the outer V, I'm gonna take this little tiny brush that we got with it. I'm gonna use this tiny fluffy brush. I'm not sure, I mean, you. I don't know that you could create a whole look with, with this. Um, maybe I'll try to do that for my follow-up video. I probably will do like a two looks, one palette. I probably won't do three looks. Well, this will be the third look. And then we'll do a two looks, one palette. Maybe a two looks with the dupe in it. So I just want to lay some of that down. This is the most interesting little brush because it is so tiny. <laughs> so cute! I'm going to take that brush that I laid the berry color down with and just kind of blend this together here. I mean, they're so far pigmented and blendable for sure. And then I'm going to take the fluffy brush that I used for that transition area and just blend that out right there. I'm going to take the pink color. Um, by the way, these shadows do have some kick up to them in case you're wondering. This one is called Pretty Bold. And I'm going to put that all over the lid. And I'm going to pat this on. I want it to be really pigmented. Not really too much fallout here. Let's go ahead and see if we can brush off what is there. Easily. That brushes off really easily. I did set my under eye. All right. I'm gonna put a little more of that blue down in the outer V. And then I'm gonna take this one here, which is called Pretty Bold on the other side, that little tiny pointed brush. And I'm gonna put that along the entire lower lash line. So I would say this brush is not necessarily a brush that you can use to get a whole look. It, they are very tiny little parts here. Um, but it's definitely a useful brush that will be a good addition to my brush collection. So that is nice. You need an inner corner highlight. Let's bring, I'm gonna bring a little bit of that hot pink, pretty bold back into the crease. No, I don't want the hot pink. Whew, that was a close one. I want the berry cold, the deeper maroonish color. in here. And then I'm going to take my fluffy br blending brush one more time with the mauve color just to blend out any harsh edges where we just laid that down. I am going to take Prance, the ColourPop gel. Are you kidding me? These things pop out and break like crazy, which is maybe why they reformulated them, but look how much just came out of here. I don't know if that's gonna work. All right, so this I'm gonna put in my um, lower lash, what am I talking about? In my waterline. Oh, I like that a lot. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do some liner on the top with mascara, and I'll be back to show you guys the final look. Okay, so I'm back with um, some liner and mascara, and I'm gonna go ahead and put on a highlighter in my inner corner. So I'm gonna use Jewel. This is from my Certify Dynasty palette. It is, it's just a shimmery light pink color. That will go good with this look. But I also think I would have been happy to keep it right like it was. So there's the final look. I do have on the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. And I used the MAC Aaliyah pencil in Follow Your Heart with the ColourPop Lippy Stick Frida on top of it. So I was going for kind of a pinker look because I was using these pink shadows. 
So overall, first impression, very happy with the shadows. They blended well, they were pigmented. Um, I think in my follow-up video, I'm gonna do one eye with using a NYX white base under it to see if I can get them to pop even more. But I mean, they do show up the color that they look. Upon first impression, this is the first time using a dose of color palette. And you guys know I've used several other brands of eyeshadows. I don't think I would probably spend $32 on five eyeshadows. Let's be honest, I wouldn't spend $32 on five eyeshadows. Um, if you have the 20% off coupon at Ulta, it would be, what, $25, which would put it $5 each, which is, that's not a terrible price. If you love these five colors, but this earring doesn't want to stay in. But only if you love these five colors. If you're not gonna use any of them, then I don't think that it would be worth it. Okay. <laughs> then I don't think it would be worth it to pay that price at all. Um, and then I think I am gonna try to find dupes for all of these for the follow-up video with additional looks as well, because I think that these shades might be kind of easy to, to dupe. We'll see. I'm gonna look through everything I have and see if I have shades that are similar. But I did enjoy all of the shades for this video. I don't really have a ton to say about it yet because this is just a first impression of the palette, but I do hope that you enjoyed this look. I hope that you will subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up by clicking the like button and click your notifications bell on so you get notified when I post upcoming videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.